what I'm going to show today is sort of a report card on what I've been doing to build out our CAD integration infrastructure at Eris over the last year or so and get into some of the, uh, the, uh, the topics involved with multi-CAD management going beyond one system into multi-disciplines of CAD. So we offer at Eris uh, what we call Eris CAD data management. It's, it's full CAD IP management. It's, it's complete CAD data management and change control uh, in, in one single system for all your disciplines. CAD data participates in all the PLM processes with full permission control. So that, that anxiety about sharing data early, well, that doesn't mean you can't put the data in the system early. It just means you have to establish lifecycle controls around that at, at the appropriate steps. What does this mean at a lower level? So within CAD, we talk about enabling three key business processes. The first is, the, uh, with the CAD connector there, enabling CAD data management. So the check-in, check-out of, of MCAD, ECAD, software, firmware, what have you, is obviously the first step to establishing a way of managing CAD. The second step is, where appropriate, to allow structures established in CAD, whether it be your uh, MCAD assembly or your ECAD bomb or parts list, driving the bomb, the part bomb in ARIS from CAD. It's not having to go duplicate effort uh, at the part level. Thirdly, wrapping this whole thing in an enterprise change management process. So you've got CAD documents managing your CAD data, you've got parts and bombs. All of those are items that can be put on an ECO or an ECN, go through a change process. So our goals are, first of all, to standardize this CAD integration platform. We also, because of this multi-partner strategy, we want to allow connectors from different partners to play together well. So that's been our, our top goal. And then another thing that I've really stressed with the partners is focusing on ease of installation and administration. It's not just about the functionality of the connector. You have to be able to install it. You have to be able to administrate it. You have to be able to do that in an effective way. Kind of similar to this is that we want to provide customers with immediate out-of-the-box capability so that uh, you, you can work with a partner, you can get a, a, a trial license to try it out. In our open methodology, we just we have to really focus on that approach. Overall, we want to build a successful CAD integration ecosystem to bring value to our customers. What does multi-CAD mean to us? It means product and process. So there's, there's product things that have to be there. There's things that you need to do uh, from, from your company standpoint to enable this, and, and, and Eris can help, our partners can help, our, our uh, implementation consulting partners. Uh, you know, it's, it's not, multi-CAD is not something you're going to drop in, obviously. It's a complex process. But I wanted to cover some of what it means to us, and, and so I'll, I'll list them here and kind of go through some of these. So, Standard CAD integration platform. You can't very well do multi-CAD without a platform that's going to be consistent. Full set of connectors. We're going to get into what this means. Direct CAD, PDM, ALM. This is sort of our three categories of CAD connectors. The ability to do both standard and custom connectors. So if you don't have a way to build a custom connector, and that's part of what multi-CAD means to you, you're out of luck. So we have definitely a good integration approach for that. Enterprise CAD data access. So how do non-CAD users get to the CAD data? How easy is it for them to do that? Clear data ownership by discipline. So multi-CAD, um, in, unless it's just multi-MCAD, it's typically going to be multi-discipline CAD. And when you bring that all together in a common bill of materials, how do you control or how do you track the ownership of that data? The bomb update I mentioned, that's the sort of that second step in our process is the automation around the bomb, coupling that automation with the ability to do manual updates because it's never going to be a perfectly automated process coming from CAD. And a, a unified part and CAD change process. That's sort of that third big circular arrow that I had earlier. To me, this is really, really what it's all about. CAD data management, it's really about change. It's doing effective change in your organization. To a lot of people, multi-CAD will mean things like data exchange and digital mock-up, right? So when you're dealing with multiple MCADs, you've got suppliers, you're pulling things together, do you convert the data, do you bring it together in a di digital mock-up? How do you deal with that multi-CAD scenario? So I'll share some thoughts on that. And just one thing to mention here, just of our existing customers that are using 
CAD integrations. 30% are already today multi-CAD. So we've got you know, companies doing this already. It's not, again, something that drops in place today. It's a, it's a, it's a journey. So this is what I would call our, our Eris CAD connector landscape. What this is showing is the, the, the swim lanes here are, are different disciplines. Each discipline, let's, let's take uh, mechanical CAD down there, this, the second one, right? You're managing your design. The, the middle column there is Eris CAD documents. So in every case with a CAD integration, you're managing your CAD documents, your, your check-in, check-out process. Then you're pushing data into the bomb. That last column there is representing the unified Eris bomb that's tracking data from different disciplines. So we've got mechanical, we've got circuit boards, wire harnesses, software and firmware, and then manually added components. So all of those things, you know, for, for most of our customers, I think that would you know, encompass most of what you're going to be managing in, in, a, in a bomb, in terms of CAD at least. I just want to show you first that they're all, they all have some similarities in the fact that there's kind of this, this, this management and, and the bomb update process. The thing that's different though, you notice the top one and the bottom one have a little extra off on the left there. The top one is what we would call PDM, mechanical PDM, where you've got another system, a work group manager, managing your check-in, check-out process for MCAD. So SOLIDWORKS EPDM, for example, or Autodesk Vault. And then pushing that data into ARIS and, and then following through the rest of the process. At the bottom, we have ALM, so software firmware design. Again, typically going to be its own, the actual code management, another system managing that in terms of ARIS. It's pushing the data over, submitting the design data, and updating the bomb. So the way we think of this is it's really, it's the three areas, right? We have the PDM connectors. We have what we, as a group, would call the direct CAD connectors, meaning there's no other data management system there. It's just CAD and ARIS. And then finally, the ALM connectors. So we view that uh, unlocking CAD data for the enterprise is a key part of any PLM initiative. It's going gonna, it's gonna to enable all these other downstream processes, analysis, EBOM, view and markup, uh, tech pubs. Uh, it's, it's, it's the key to, to make all this stuff happen.